What's up, everybody? My name is Name is Choice. My name is Victoria Pfeiffer. And we're the Lady and the Ninja. Today's topic basically is Tragic is not when the person dies, tragic is when that thing inside of the person dies. Uh, that was the Portuguese translation <laughs> for all of you out there that don't understand English. Alright, so once again, the topic is it's not it, tragic is not when a person dies. Tragic is when something inside the person dies. Okay, anyway, so for me, it's like when a person has a dream, I think what, one true in life is when you were born and while you were growing up, you have a feeling inside of you. What is your mission here? Your point? Why Why are you here? Everybody in the point in their lives, they ask they ask themselves, why am I here? Like, what am I doing here? What, what, what do I have to do here? You know, and I think every single person have this thing inside of them, the answer for that. And when this answer, so, sometimes this answer looks crazy, looks impossible, looks, there is no way for this to be right, you know? So that thing start being little and little and little and little, small, every day small, because the world make the person think, oh, I think it's crazy, I think it's not gonna happen. So that thing is so little and then one day it disappears and it dies. And this is a tragic, when the person let that light, that answer, die. So I think you should keep that answer very alive inside of you. Even if it looks crazy, if it looks impossible, no, it's not impossible. Because if you feel it's right and you have to do that. And sometimes you, you think like, oh, I think my, my way is go right there. And then you're going right there and then happens something and make you change. And you need to change, you need to go in the other way. You know, if you feel the other way is right. But you need to follow your, your, your heart, follow your instincts, your feelings. This is very important. For you that d didn't understand what she was saying, uh, you know. What the f just, Victor! Just follow the link below uh, and you'll get a translation. But anyway, I understand what she's saying uh, and I agree with what she's saying. And I, I would like to add to this topic by saying what the title says. And the title says, uh, tragic is not when a person dies, it's when something inside the person dies. So at the end of the day, um, I think all of us are born with at least a couple of things that are our connection to who we are in our truest form. And I think, you know, as kids, little kids, you know, if you ask a little kid, like, what do you want to drink? A little kid will tell you uh, a lot of times what they want. They know what they want. They know what they like. They know what they don't like. And uh, what happens is, is uh, as, as everybody starts growing older, you know, the world uh, and a lot of different things start telling them uh, how they should be, how, how they should live, what they should want, what they should like, what they should not like, how they should be, all these rules. As life goes on and you're a little kid and you have no rules, no ceilings, no nothing, all these things start building on you and it kind of changes your connection to uh, what I believe is your soul. And at the end of the day, you know, like going to what she was saying, like if you have a dream, for example, uh, if you have a dream, for example, you never pursue it, you never go for it and ever try it time goes by and it's almost like a plant you know if, if you don't water it if, if you don't give it the attention it dies and uh, a person without their passions or their dream or their love uh, that they were born for uh, born with you know at the end of the day once you let that go a part of you inside dies so even though you're alive your soul a piece of your soul is dying and at the end of the day if, if you look at people there are some people that you're gonna see that like are 50 years old like for example we have this 50 year old person here and then we have a 50 year old person here and a lot of times when you look at these people there's a difference between them one of them looks a lot younger than the other and sometimes it's because one of them kept at least one of those loves they have alive and they gave it life attention and that kept them young and even though time passes because their soul is very alive and well and connected to something that's so true to them it keeps them young and, and then you look at the other 50 year old person uh, and they don't pay attention to anything that really makes them live inside and that's either so uh, they might age a little more now uh, you know there's always exceptions but from what I've seen when I'm like 50 60 70 80 years old I want to be in the situation where I have that smile on my face and at the end of the day the way that you can do that is by not letting those 
those very important loves and passions inside you die. Now I totally understand some people are not going to have the luxury of pursuing their dream or whatnot. But at the end of the day, it doesn't mean that you cannot keep it alive. So let's just say you, you like making music, for example, like us. If you have a wife and kids and, and you don't have the luxury of pursuing that dream, it's okay. But you know, at least make some time for it and feed it. And it will not only get back to you, in my opinion, and I'm sure Victoria is going to agree, it will get back to others around you. Because when you feed your soul, you give yourself the kind of love that it's heavenly, you know, that love that you were born with for something that feeds your soul, it also gives back to others. There's that saying that when you give to others, you get 10 times back. But I also feel that when you give yourself a blessing, it also gives you the power to give blessings back, you know, because yeah. at the end of it, it's your choice. So once again, the topic of this video was tragic is not when a person dies. Tragic is when something inside you dies. If you're going to let something die inside you, let it be things that are bad. Don't let something that's so pure, so awesome, so amazing inside you die. And at the end of the day, I can promise you, me and Victoria don't know everything, but one thing we do know is that it's not tragic when you die. It's tragic when you let that special thing inside you die. Yeah. My name is Name is Choice. My name is Victoria Pfeiffer, so don't let that thing die. Become who you are, who you really are. Don't let people around you make you feel like you have no chance, make you feel like that's impossible, or because it's not not true. It's not true. No, it's not. Even if you don't know me, if you don't, if you don't know him, it's totally true what we we're saying. You know. So follow your hearts and your feelings. When you feel it's right you, and it's pure inside of you, it, it really is. Never forget. Not only feed your soul, but, but the others. But help other people feed their soul. So please share it and let it help others. And I hope that it can make a difference in not only your life and the lives of many people. Victoria and I are on a mission, not only of music and art, but we're on a mission to make an impact on this planet because we think it's a, something that feeds our soul. We like to do good things and we like to live passionately. So to all of you out there, if you have the chance to see this, May it bless you and may it bless others. Once again, my name is Name is Choice. Victoria Pfeiffer. And we are the Lady and the Ninja. <laughs>